right now we are recording the winners for the Lusquid, Trotsdale, and Derpyland Birthdays Contest. This contest is celebrating what these sims mean to the community. So we have we had enough entries to run a proper contest. For Luskwood, the winners are Jcat Nico of Frog and Jay, Zadaya Zenovka, and Big Mo Whitfield, also known as Mo. For Trotsdale, we have Zadaya Zenovka, Night Trotter, and Fluttershy, Irving One. And for Derpyland, we have Dashi, Shippo 849. While we're here in Trotsdale, I am going to read and show in order our winners. We have first. Zadaya Zenovka, who dropped this in the cat in order to make sure it got to me, because by the time the final is everybody sure you entered call went out, I had picked up the easels and discovered that people must have forgotten. But anyway, here we are for her entry for Trotsdale. In times of friendship crises, or when one feels confused, there is a place in Second Life where friendship is their muse, with Faust as their inspiration, all around them her spirit soars. In Trotsdale town they cherish peace, true kindness at their core. Delightful conversation, a game or two to play, a kind of magic exists there, that is the pony way. What this means to me is this, comfort in times of stress. A cure for wandering, excuse me, a cure for lonely wandering souls. Trotsdale generosity is best. So that was her entry. We have Memories up next by Night Trotter. Trotsdale. The Sim of My Beginning Derpyland was actually the very first sim I visited when I first started out in Second Life. I was completely new to how Second Life worked, but I joined Second Life because I was interested in talking to other people who shared my interest with ponies. I didn't see anyone in Derpyland and, being completely new, wandered into Trotsdale and was looking around in the coffee shop there without realizing it was a different sim. coffee shop. A friend, Dusk Coffee, showed me around and brought me over to Ponytown and introduced me to other people that helped start me out in Second Life and thus began my Second Life. I learned about Sims early on and frequented Trotsdale briefly during my first two weeks, but I didn't really meet anyone there fully until I decided to sit inside the volcano one day and just listen in on the talking there. Is it? it might be too dark to see the volcano. That's... There's the volcano. That is Sarah's volcano, by the way. She worked very hard on putting that together. She is a really cool person. But anyway. But he didn't really meet anyone there fully until I decided to sit inside the volcano one day and just listen in on the talking there, since I was still somewhat shy about introducing myself, given that I was a completely new second... given that I was a completely new person to Second Life. 
I don't exactly know when or how I became more friendly with Trotsdale's residence, but I do know a large part was with the Wednesday primtionaries that occurred, which happened in the theater, which allowed me to showcase my newness and talk with people as part of a game. As of now, I don't frequent Trotsdale as much as I used to, but I still consider it a home. Whenever I don't have a place to sit on a different sim or I want to sit with friends, I mostly come back to Trotsdale to just sit and relax. Chat, if there's anyone there to chat with, but mostly to relax and listen to the other chatter going on. Trotsdale was a major part of how I managed to break past my initial shyness from being new and helped shape my SL experience from the start. If it wasn't for Trotsdale and all the wonderful people, ponies I met there, I don't think I would have had as enjoyable of an experience as a starting player on SL. So I thank you, Trotsdale, and happy birthday, Night Trotter, a batty bat pony. Night Trotter has a very interesting channel going on that I need to catch up on, and I will link it in the description below. But he talks about his theories of what's going on with things in My Little Pony. I have a hunch. So look for that. And Fluttershy's entry stuck with the pictorial theme. And here is what Trotsdale means to Fluttershy. Happy smiling ponies, having fun. Look at that. Oh, I see Dee Dee. I see the, oh, you can't see me pointing, but I see the role play game going on that they do. And, oh, I see Solex. I see a bunch of different faces that are a large part of the community. And if you are there, you will meet them. A lot of fun and games being had there. So that are the, those are the entries for Trotsdale. I am tired. Can you tell? So next I will pop over and record the Derpyland entry and then the Luskwood entry and stitch these together in the order that you see listed here. The first winner out of the Luskwood category is J-Cat Nico of the dynamic duo Frog and Jay, who do live music pretty much all the time. This is what Luskwood means to Jay. Second life really changed my first life, and I have to say that Luskwood was a huge part of that. I started Second Life because I was looking for an online community without goals. Back in 2005, there were a few online games that had developed communities, but not many of them were very social, and they focused more on quests and playing the game. However, I was looking to become more of a regular at an online bar, maybe even as the bartender, and visit with folks on a regular basis, just chatting and sharing stories. And my scroll wheel has decided to act up, so. So I joined Second Life, and since I have had a cat nickname as long as I can remember, I decided to find a cat avatar to match. I ended up at Dwellgit and found a wonderful Siamese cat. I was trying to match my real life cat, a tortoise shell cat, but Siamese was the closest color combination. I learned this cat came from a place called Luskwood, where there were other animal avatars, and so I headed there to check it out. I quickly discovered there was a whole community there, not just avatar sales, and that Lusk was one of the original Sims in Second Life, with a lot of history before 2005. The people who I met were engaging and interesting. The avatars and creations were original, unique, 
who pushed the cookie cutter rules SL had for objects as far as they could go in order to provide something different than the typical human avatar that people started with. I learned through Luskwood that there was a whole fandom for something called furry who, just like me, love cartoon animals and anthropomorphic creatures. For me, they're silly, unique, and fun folks to be around. I enjoyed the community so much that I figured when I started looking for a real-life long-term relationship, they needed to be part of the fandom. So, because of Luskwood and the furry fandom, I went on the prowl, so to speak, and found a wonderful guy in Southern California, and we've been together for over ten years now, and married for almost four years since the option became available in my state. Around that time, my friend Frog Marlowe joined me in Second Life, and we both became live musicians. At two of the real-life Second Life conventions, we met up with the Luskwood founders, and in Chicago we all decided that it would be fun to play a monthly show there at Luskwood. To this day, we've kept that tradition alive. In the last few years, we've switched things up a bit and play every other month's show at Trotsdale, and I have to say they are a fantastic community as well, although I have not spent much time there otherwise. Luskwood has not only allowed me to actively play music with my best friend of over 40 years, Frog, but has also pointed me towards a wonderful man that I plan to spend the rest of my life with, and we're off to a good start. Thanks, Luskwood. You really mean a lot to me. J. Cat Nico. And he included some picture memories. Let's take a look at those. Frog's Res Day. Awesome memory. There is Frog. You really should come to one of the shows. This looks like it must be around Christmas time, but here is the social platform. Awesome. And let's see here. This is before my time. This must be before they built the amphitheater between Perry and Lusk. Either that or the, one of the first iterations of it. So, thank you, Jay. Awesome memory. And our next one. Is Zidaya. This is her entry for Luskwood. I once was a soul so very lost on walkabout alone. Across many worlds I wandered, my heart did ever roam. I had no close companionship, and my spirit had no home. In loneliness and on and on, all joy and love postponed. I then happened upon a special place, way up high in a tree. The stranger folks who lived there said hi and greeted me. <clears throat> I realized they were odd like me, and from them I gleaned. I'd finally found my kin and kind within their leaf-bound tree. Most of them, like me, appeared to be the strangest beasts, as if an entire herd or zoo had been in this place released. From this group of fellow kindred who I'd finally, who'd finally been unleashed, came love and friendship, and soon I felt my loneliness decrease. When I'd arrived there on that day, it was after dusk. The place went by on the odd, <clears throat> the place went by the odd, but poetic name of Lusk. Lusk would, in full, and to its folk a large gathering of sorts, of the kind known as furries, most there of kind comport. Creativity is Luskwood's pride, it is its stock in trade. The realization of dreams lives in the stuff they've made. All those who wish to be quite wild and all fuzzy and fur-covered, their stuff will more than suit you, friend, for it is like no other. So, if you will please pay a visit to their big giant tree, it will be more than worth your while to know this community. For up in the branches lives friendship, 
in great measure I found, the place with the tree named Luskwood, where dreams can be made profound. And the last one that I will read today, although it is going to be one of the first that you see in the video, is Big Mo's. This is The image for the Luskwood 15th birthday. Wow, look at that. From 2003 to 2018. Here is the social platform. Happy birthday, Luskwood. Happy birthday, Trotsdale. Happy birthday, Derpyland. Clicky, clicky. Welcome to Derpy Land. Let me move this note card so you can see it a little bit better. Now, Dashie, their note card tells us what Derpy Land means to Dashie. What Derpy Land means to me. Sarah and I had a dream of starting our own sim together. I was inspired by a drawing I saw way back when with Derpyland on a sign as an amusement park area with ponies. And Sarah inspired us to make it a more Hawaiian themed with a volcano island and palm trees. So we got together some of the best builders, my buddy Spitfire, Skyberry, and Falcon Reina. This sim, Derpyland, means so much to me because I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and heart into this place. It's not easy being the founder and trying to direct the team to work together in harmony to our common goals. We just wanted a place that people could come to and be greeted when they come in and not ignored. A place where ponies or anyone coming in can have fun and socialize and make new friends. But I have bumped heads with the team have many arguments and disagreements. I wanted to do things the right way this time, being the second time running a sim. I've lost many admins, but the good ones have stayed by my side through the hardest of times. And we had some fun weekly events, karaoke being my favorite one. We'd all gather at the party parcel skybox and sing to our favorite songs. And we had movie nights, like when I played all the Robin Williams movies plus the greedy greedy nights. That was good times. I'm hoping I can start up these events again soon because they really helped make Derpyland unique. But I guess nowadays many pony sims are taking on the karaoke idea. But this place has changed me. It's made me understand my own flaws in leadership and I think I have learned a lot. I learned how to better listen to people's concerns and complaints so I can try to solve the problems that arise. I learned that I'm way too stubborn, so I should try to open myself up more to others' ideas and advice. And you guys, I'm not in it for the glory, it seems as being constantly said to me. Look, I'm not doing this to make myself look good or be popular or get attention and be loved. Because being the founder, I don't think I get any of that anyways. That's not what Derpyland means to me. Derpyland is about bringing this community closer together. Being a community that cares for all of its ponies and other residents. We are all in this together. Let's not have these stupid admin fights anymore. Let's have conversations that actually help our fellow residents. And let's keep this sim going for as long as we can. Because Derpyland's my home, and a home for many other ponies. A place to feel welcome and home. That is what Derpy Land means to me.
And thank you very much for tuning in and listening. If you're interested in these sims, I do advise you to come and see them yourself. As you can see, my draw distance is down pretty low. And I should actually lower my particles again. It keeps getting reset. So I will turn up. Okay, in this sim, not a whole lot changes. But in some of the sims, it does change a few things. So I will lower this back down to where I can, well, okay, maybe not quite to where I can walk. That's, but anyway, I will see you next time. And do stop by the library on library nights.